Hi guys, I'm just waiting for bargain store project number 11 to upload to YouTube. So there's probably a bit of a hiss from my computer in the background, so sorry about that. Um, just thinking about bargain store project number 12 and listening to some of the feedback I've had from a couple of people about the hovercraft episode, which was... is that number 8, I think? I can't remember now. Anyway, Ryan McCartney suggested I ought to do a jet car to make use of the electric fans. And Legalise Hemp 420 uh, pointed out that the fan blades on those fans that I'd used tend to push the air out to the side rather than pull it through to the back. Because uh, they're designed, well that was the lint remo remover um, fans and they were designed to collect the lint and push them down into the container down below. And I've just been thinking about this USB computer vacuum cleaner, and I'm guessing that that's going to have the same fan blade in it. It's going to pull the air in from the front, collect the dust or whatever in that area, and the air, instead of being pushed out the back, is being pushed out of these vents. Um, actually, I'll open it, then it'll be a bit easier to see, won't it? Right then, so what I'm saying is the air's going to get sucked in the front there, but it doesn't come out the back, it comes out of these slots on the side, so the air's been pushed out sideways again. So I'm just wondering if I can use that uh, facility <laughs> to actually make one of these jet cars. So what I'm thinking of doing is having the fan sitting vertically on top of my car, sucking the air up from underneath, and then it'll be blowing it out of these vents, but I'll put a, a cowl around it with a tube pointing to the back of the car, so that the idea being sucks up from underneath, blows out the back, and hopefully that'll push it forwards. No idea if it'll work. Um, but we'll find out. We'll give it a try. Because that's certainly looking in there, that looks like the same sort of fan blade that we had on the uh, lint removers. Or similar principle anyway. Just plugged it into my USB port. Um, although that LED looks pretty, I'm not sure if I really want it. Because um, obviously that will be taking some of the power. But certainly, if I switch this on, I can feel the air shooting out in this direction. So I think if I just put a cowl, cowl round it, as I described, um, making a duct point to the back of the car, then we might be able to make a jet car. I should just take it apart, see if I can get that LED out of circuit. Looks like the LED just goes straight across the motor anyway. Yeah, so we'll we'll get rid of that. You can see the fan blade. See it's entirely designed to blow the air out sideways. 
So uh, that's what we'll do. And we've got a switch all combined, so that'll be handy. Right, back on my normal workbench. Um, I'm going to take that LED off. Uh, shan't do that just now. I'll cut the wire because all we need is a feed. I'm going to use this little battery compartment. Uh, that came out of a bicycle light. But it's got space for four AAA batteries, so that'll give me four times one and a half, six volts, give or take a bit. Your USB power is 5 volts, so that should be enough to run it. The other thing I'm going to do is use this car that I made uh, quite a few weeks ago. I um, can't remember what the episode's called. I'll put a link to it in the video description. Um, the wheels are made out of the spools out of a VHS cassette tape. Um, just did it as an experiment to see if they'd work as wheels. But they're nice lightweight wheels anyway. The body works just thin cardboard folded up into a box shape and the hole at the back is where the um, pipe stuck out from a balloon jet. So I thought well that might be convenient if I'm going to make a jet car I'll just use that as the chassis, mount my fan there, build a little uh, duct to point the air to the back, and that should be it. Battery should be able to sit in the front there somewhere. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, to make the duct, I shall use a bit of pizza tray, little bits left over from one of my previous episodes. And that'll be it. To make the duct I need a strip of polystyrene that's going to be just wider than those vents. So 15 millimetres should be long enough, wide enough. that will actually be a little bit wider, wider, yes, wider diameter than the fan itself. It's not going to be uptight like that, it'll be like that, so that the air can come out. Actually, I don't suppose it matters if I did it uptight, then it'll force all the air out the back. Not sure what the best option is there. Might have to put it together and just give it a try and see how much air we get coming this way. And then put a lid on it. Wrong way round. So it'll just sit in there. Something like that with a lid on it. I think that roll of tape will be about the right size to give me a, a gap all the way around. So I can use that as a former. So 
that will be the lid. Cut a hole in it for that to drop through. Cut a hole in, in the bottom there. That should do. Right, I've just cut a hole in the bottom. That's not actually big enough. Eventually it needs to be big enough for all of that to go in. But I can see now, when I take that off, the hole that I've got to cut in the bottom of my car. So I can use that as a former to get my hole in the right place. So that's the hole in the base, or in the chassis. Now I can mark round there to do the final cut. Alright, in position. Just need to cut the lead and connect it to the battery. Okay, let's give it a test run. Well, that worked. Okay, time for a summary. We've got a USB computer vacuum cleaner that we've inserted into one of my old cars, an old balloon jet car. Um, made a duct to direct the air sucked in from the bottom and comes out the back. I have had to open the size of that hole a bit to get a bit more air out. I'd left it too small but it now moves reasonably well. Uh, four AAA batteries. The uh, holder there was out of a bicycle light. The car itself is made out of cardboard. The wheels are from a VHS video cassette tape. And this, the axles are garden canes inside drinking straws. And that's it. A computer, USB computer vacuum cleaner jet car.